Hey, it's Ella Blooms, and today we're going to be making a rose pen, a pen, basically. So, I have about an ounce of clear in here, with a couple of scoops of rose pearl mica, my favorite, and some cranberry seeds, a great exfoliant. We're making soap today, and it's exfoliating soap. My smell is going to be rose because I'm using rose coloring. So, I got my pen there just from, I bought pens a couple weeks ago and I kept this so I can make a pen mold. So it's just a regular pen where they like stick them or they sit on top of the package and they stick out because it's clear. So spray that with rubbing alcohol. If you want to put all that together, mix the exfoliating pens will fool a lot of people. You want to put it in your pen mold. Try not to overfill it so the pen effect will work and you don't have to shave off so much soap. And spray that rubbing alcohol. Mine is kind of lopsided. As you know, it's sitting on my desk for a while and there's a lot of things going on top of it. So we have a rose pen. Cranberry seeds are a, a great exfoliator. When you're rubbing it on you, they break, break up. I'm gonna be using seeds, my strawberry seeds and my cranberry seeds, and my scrubs most likely less than my soap because in soap, I think they don't get broken up and help your skin exfoliate more unless they're in a scrub. So I'm gonna be using those seeds more in a scrub. And Brambleberry, I love so much. They have so many things. It's mostly a soap stuff. They do carry nail polish stuff, eye makeup, and some candle stuff. But it's basically a soap store. It has everything you need for melt pour soap, cold process soap, even hot process soap. So it has everything you need for soaping. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Andrew Soaps on Twitter. Twitter. Or if you have a friend that you would like to get them a bar of soap, do you have a Michaels locally or a store that sells soap, Hobby Lobby or whatever? You can email me at au.queen at yahoo.com and you can order this pen or any bar of soap that you would like that I have on sale. So you can order this pen if you want. If you don't want to make it, I will make it for you. It's better if you make it yourself. But I am willing to sell these pens. They're so cute with my finger. <laughs> don't write with these. Don't forget to write. Subscribe to my channel. So you can see all my new videos. Especially if you want to see how to make other things that I find around the house. Um, don't forget to click like. Pew, 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 pew. That will help me get found by other viewers who can learn how to make a rose cranberry pen. And don't forget about my soap contest. Just leave me a idea for a soap idea down below in the comment box. And if I like yours, after a week I collect them, I'll write them down, and then I'll like yours. If I like yours, I'll make a video about it, because I ran out of so many ideas. I just found this around the house, and I was like, buzzing. So, I need help. If yours needs a special mold, let me know in the comment box, or on my channel, so I know that I need a special mold, so I can get it. Yours probably won't be in that following week, but maybe if I like yours the best that week, I'll get the second place one to make the video that week, but yours can be the next one or whenever the mold comes in or whenever I get it. So, there's the rose pen. It's so cool. I like the little ones. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I just made a swirl block with this rose mica and a red brick um, mica block. It's a 
really cool. Here, I'll pop it out, show you. And out here, I'll show you how to pop out out of these hard plastic molds. So mine is a plastic mold. Pull from the side across so it opens it up, the airlock. Flip it, do the other side. Do it diagonally if you can. I kind of, mine just makes a weird, kind of goes uh, diamondy. Do it to the other side. Then you want to push with your fingers with these small molds. If you're using a bigger mold, make sure you use your palms, the end of your palms. You push it down. And you can see the air lock. See, this is the air still sucking onto the soap. But around it, it's free. So you want to keep blowing until you don't see that. Or your soap pops out. And mine won't let go that one spot. So you might have to push it with a screwdriver or something hard, like the end of your spoon. And you shake it out and pop your soap. And how you can fix those bumpy beginnings. This just. Okay, I never make mine straight. Or if you have a soap cutter, if you make bigger soaps, you could use that. You just slide it across. Be careful. Just slide it across evenly. And it should get rid of those bumps. this a lot better than a regular knife. I got this at my local Michael's, so any place that sells soap should have one of these cutters. And voila, my top is kind of flaky with soap flakes, but it's smooth as you can see. And then look at the bottom. I love swirl soaps because look at it makes a unique design on the bottom of the soap. So you like this one. The red is red brown brick red is coming right on down into my pearl mica so it's mixing really well and i really like it my favorite bar soap and if you don't want to make this soap or this just remember email me at au.queen at, at yahoo.com and you can order this if you don't want to make it and if you're the first one to order it you get to have this one so your bar of soap would be on YouTube. And follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Anjo Soaps. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I like Twitter. On there you can email me. I'm selling a bunch of soaps. I post pictures of or tweet a bunch of pictures of my soaps that I'm selling. I'll be posting these on there later today. So if you want these you can email me or just wait for me to post it on Twitter. And like my channel, please. Please, please, please. I need help. Other people can find out how to make a pawn. So, I remember, just smooth it out. Sometimes you can cut it, but not all the way. Mine was wonky, but if yours was pretty straight, that you just like bought a package of pens, and you saw this video, or even grab that mold. Um, voila, my rose cranberry pen. Remember, don't write with it, because then you get your paper all soapy. Check out my other videos, you can learn how to make this one, or the cantaloupe one, which is my favorite, it turned out perfect and it's my favorite bar soap you can learn how to make uh all that's steps through steps of how to make the swirls and this one i showed you if your skim gets hard or your bar is starting to harden up quicker I'll show you how to swirl that that's how you did and that's check out my other videos i made a bunch of christmas ones i know it's day after christmas but you can see all the other videos of Christmas soaps you can get a head on.
and figure them out. So there. Check out my, I'm going to be, my birthday's coming up, so I'm going to, no, my pen. Fixers, oops, when it breaks like this, just melt, remelt what you have left in the bowl, put it back in that mold you had it in, pour it over where that crack is, or all over, make another layer on top. Make sure you rub, spray rubbing alcohol when you're putting that extra layer on, and you can fix your pen, and then you can flip the other side and do the other side. That's how you fix your broken skinny soaps click like subscribe to see all my other videos and visit my channel and you can see all a bunch of other ones leave an idea for a soap idea you don't even have to be a soaper just leave a comment find me on twitter at anjo soaps and email me if you want this rose pen that i'll remake or this bar soap or cantaloupe soap and I made a bunch of Lego soap, so if your little brother or son's birthday is coming up pretty soon, you could order some Lego soaps. I posted the prices. I'll be posting prices for all the bars of soaps, so you can see how much they are for one bar or how many if it's a little figure like these. Probably be three dollars for six of these. So find me on Twitter. Subscribe, like, leave a comment for an idea. I don't care if. It's not my style. I mean, I ride horses, so if you have a really good horse idea that I can maybe make a mold and insert it, maybe I just came up with my own Western video talking to you about the video. I don't know anymore. I have one comment so far as of today. I checked after the video of this one. And I do have a comment for a volleyball. So if you want to outdo the volleyball, oh, and there was a second one. There's a western bar where it's brown and there's like a horse in it. If you want to outdo the western bar and the uh, volleyball bar, leave a comment below. And there's also like a wand one. Wand like a princess. So I have three comments for soap ideas. I'm, I'm kind of leaning to the volleyball for all your sportsies and learning how to make sports soaps to help you for favors for your teams or if you're a uh, soccer mom or a basketball mom you'll learn how to make those and give them as favors at the end of the season there goes my sign so just leave a comment below for an idea i'll do the volleyball the western one and the wand one and you'll surely win thanks subscribe down below click that red button and uh, a looms.